Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a blessed day. It's Renee from Lovely Lavender Wishes, and welcome back. We are going to be working on this envelope that I talked about yesterday in my other video um, that will go into the middle of our signature. So we worked on our signature the other day, and it's early morning. Sorry about this. The light's coming through the window a little weird. Always happens early morning, but I figured it was, t everyone was sleeping. It's a great time to craft while it's quiet and before I have to get my day going. So this envelope is going to hinge into here. Um, it will flip open, we'll have a little window. So the only thing I did was cut out this window. So again, this was two envelopes, two long envelopes that I cut off and cut a, a small strip off here and just inserted the two envelopes together. I cut, uh, piece off and I'm actually I think I'm gonna cut a little bit more because I don't need this big of a hinge I just need a small little hinge so this was the the flap of the envelope that closes the envelope you don't need a lot of that there so we can cut that off actually let's even this out okay so cut that off and so your envelope opens up when you cut the top off and then cut off your envelope. Unless you have an envelope this size, that's fine. I wanted, um, I didn't want it as long as my signature. So you can have a long one, you can have a short one, you can whatever size you want. This is, I just wanted it kind of right here in the middle. So this is going to hinge here. It's going to get sewed in. Let me think, I'm trying to think which way. Yeah, I think I want it this way. So it'll hinge in this way. This will be the window. So the only other thing I did was cut out a window. Um, I have this, uh, these were two stickers that I just glued together. So I have one on the front, one on the back. You can see that, two stickers. And then I just put a little dab of glue here to hold it in this plastic. So this plastic was, um, you know these little photo protectors and so I cut off the edge here where you have this little hinge so it kind of kept it all together so I don't have two pieces of plastic that I have to fiddle with it's it's two pieces of plastic but it's already attached right here so that made it easier if you already have a window envelope this will work perfectly you need two window envelopes and the windows already built in for you you wouldn't have to do this with plastic or anything but the window envelopes I had the windows were smaller. I wanted a larger window, and um, I didn't have two window envelopes that were exactly the same, that had the same window that would match up, so this just made it easier for me. So it's a DIY, make your own, you know. So, so I put my stickers inside the plastic, and then the next thing I'm going to do is insert this plastic in here. So I just measured and, glue, and cut the plastics to size, so it will hang over the opening so I can glue it in here and in here. So we'll just start continuing on with this. I'll show you how to do this. So this is what we'll work on today. Let me move all this. Find my glue. So I'm gonna put a little layer of glue around, let's get this going, around um, the window part on the inside, on this side, and on the inside of this side. And then I'm just gonna line this up to make sure it's where I want it to be in the window. Make sure it's kind of straight and whatnot. This light makes it a little bit difficult. I'm getting a little glare. Hopefully you all can see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna close, make sure this is all lined up. And close this and glue that down. And there you go. Easy as that, there's your window. Okay, now really the whole thing is just decorating. Um, so like I said, this is going to go in here. So this will be, let's see. So this will be glued in here as well as sewn in. So you have like double you know, security on that. And then this will flip out. This is going to be a pocket. 
right here. So let's just decorate this and you'll, you'll see how it kind of goes. But these are easy to make. You can make circle windows, you can make you know little design windows, whatever you want. If you have a die cut machine, that makes it a lot easier. I don't have a die cut machine, so I do everything the old fashioned way. I cut it out with an X-Acto knife or a scissors. <laughs> but let's see, what kind of papers? So this is going to be the front of the pocket. This side, I think I'm gonna make a journal page. So let me, let's see, I had, I had this big ticket, but I don't wanna use the whole ticket part. I think I just wanna cut out and just use this journal part. So you have like a little journal spot here. And I'm thinking that will go good. So I'm just gonna measure Not measure really, but just kind of guesstimate <laughs> where I hardly ever measure, y'all, unless it's absolutely essential. I'm just gonna cut this and we'll see how it goes. I could always cut it down more. But yeah, I hope y'all having a great day. It looks like it's going to be a sunny day. The sun is shining right in my eyes right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, everyone, this is a quiet, quiet morning. So I figure now would be a great time to craft. I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit more. As you all can see, I need a new blade for my cutter. But like I said, for this album, I don't mind it so much. I kind of like the rough look. Okay. Now I'm just gonna glue with my glue stick. I'm gonna go back through and sew, but for those of you who don't like to sew or don't like to, you know, do any of that kind of stuff, you just wanna glue, then go ahead, just glue. You can glue it, you can tape it, you can washi tape it, however you want. There is no rules in junk journaling. That's one thing I love. You can do whatever you want. Okay, I might have to cut this down while it's going over the edge, so. gonna be hinged down okay okay so let's see here I'm gonna cut this and then this will all be inked up as well It's already it looks like it's already inked along the sides, but we'll just add a little more just to kind of make sure there's no white spots showing. Yeah, and then I'll decorate this up more just right now. Um, I just want to get the main pieces on. Like I said, with my whole journal, I'm just getting all the main pieces on and then I'm gonna go back through and embellish a little bit more. I just need to see how thick the journal's getting and then that'll determine how many embellishments and how thick, you know, what kind of embellishments I can do. Whether I can do some more 3D stuff or I have to keep it kind of flat, so we'll see. Or I can, you know, space it out. Okay, so we'll have a journal spot on the back. And then this part, I think I'm just gonna collage a little. I have all these pieces of paper here. Got this music paper too. Don't want that. This is gonna be on the flap, so I'm gonna let that go over the flap.
yeah. Okay. Before I glue everything down, I always um, put it on there first just to see what it looks like. See if I need to change anything. So we'll just put that there, let's see. Got this butterfly paper still. Now this is what's gonna show through your window. So keep, kind of keep that in mind too as you're, let's see here. So that will go there. green there's edge there it's got to go up there do I have? Let's see. Got all my scraps from... Do we want some orange in here? And then I'll embellish it up as well, but this is just the background. What do y'all think? Okay, so let's see. I kind of want this music paper to come through a little bit. So let's see if we can maybe do something like that. Yeah, then I'm getting almost all of it, but I definitely like this music paper. Or do we want the music paper to kind of come through even more? Oh yeah, I think I like that better. This is why I like to just put things down and test it out and see, and then I can embellish, do an embellishment here or something. Okay, so I'm gonna ink this stuff up. And remember where I'm putting everything. that sun in the morning that sun really just shines through my window and it goes directly into my eyes hopefully you guys let me check hopefully you're not getting like yeah you are you're getting a huge glare through this so sorry hopefully you can still see what I'm doing like that right is that how we had it or we had it more like this yeah we had it more like that can't remember how I had it okay okay so then now just glue like I said I'm gonna go through and sew so we'll have another layer of dimension on here we'll have this sewing thread okay now I need to line this up 
so it doesn't go in your crease. Now you want to glue it, but not not directly up to the crease because then you'll have a hard time opening and closing your flaps. Okay, so that's how it was, right? So this goes down next. Trim off the edges. Okay, so let's see here what we have. Make sure everything's still lined up. So I'm just going to cut off these overhanging edges. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure my creases there so this gives some more stability to this hinge right here okay and then where is my so I remember that this is going to be a pocket let's see I'm gonna get my um, hole punch my big circle punch and since this is not all glued together yet or um, sewn together it's easier to open and do the hole punch now and then I'm thinking I might glue a little piece of maybe some paper back here do we want that piece or do we want some orange I think I like the orange so I'm going to just glue this in the back there or you can just ink that up I just don't want to have a stark white piece of paper there. So I'm just gonna glue that in there. So when this is all sewn up, you won't even, you won't see that. Actually, you know what? I want to do it across the whole. Let me toss that. I'm going to do it across the whole top because when you open that folder, you'll see it. So, yeah, I'm going to do it across the top there. So when you open up your folder, you'll see that. Open up your little pocket, you'll see that spot. Okay. Now I'm going to ink that up while I'm thinking about it. And I'll go around and ink the whole thing up when I'm done here. Okay, so there's my pocket. Here's my flip that we need to decorate. And then I'm gonna sew around all this. There's our little journal spot. And then this will, I'm actually gonna glue this together just to kind of hold it. 
that's going to be our little flap. This will be glued to the page this side so you won't even see that. Okay. Cool, we are getting there. There's our pocket. So this will be sewed. Okay. So then I had, let's see what else we got. I had a few more pieces of paper. Oh, tons of scraps. Let's see here. I have been using a lot. I've been getting a lot of my scraps used up. Okay, so I was thinking. Let's see, I had these, but they're not going to fit. Could put some ribbon. Or a strip along the bottom or something. I do need to cut cut out the hmm. let me see let me see I'm wondering if some of my ribbon would look cool along there yeah so if you ever you know need to figure out like you could put you know you can collage this put more different strips of paper on here but I'm thinking I had these pieces and I was kind of hoping they'd fit but they they kind of fit barely I'm missing a little spot here so I'm thinking I can put some ribbon down here or some trim on both sides so that may work so let me find oh the squares that I cut out and measure these Make sure. Hmm. I have to cut them out in the right spot. Again, this would be helpful if you had or you could just you can just cut strips and cut around. Around the picture and just glue strips down. But I was gonna see if I can get this matched up perfectly, but <laughs> that might be an issue. Matching up perfectly. We could try it, and if it doesn't work. Then it doesn't work. We can always go back and do it again. Okay, so I drew the little rectangle on here. So let's see if this will work. I'm just gonna go through my little cutter bee scissors and see if I can if we can get this to match up. Let's try it and see. If not, then. We'll go to plan B. if you could probably cut it smaller. Hmm. Okay. Oh, let's try plan B. I was kind of thinking it might be kind of cool even. Let me just try something. Let me see what it's going to look like. If you had something kind of hanging over, like if we had... made it kind of rough looking like that around the window. I might do something like that. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig through my papers and I might do something like, kind of like that rough around the window. Cause I don't, I don't think I want it to be perfectly square like that. So I think now that I'm looking at that, if I ink this up or something and have pieces like rough around this, 
think I like that image better and then do the same on this side. So I'm gonna have to kind of look through my scraps and see what I have, see what'll match. But okay, so that's what I'll work on today. But you guys get the drift of how to put this together. So you're gonna just decorate this part. Here's your pocket. Where's my signature? So this will fit in like this into your center signature or wherever you want it in your book. And so you have another little journal spot here. You have a flip up window and then you'll have a pocket here. And so when I'm done decorating this, I'll ink it up and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna sew around my pocket here. I'm gonna sew around this. I might even sew around this. It just depends on what how it looks when I get these like frayed pieces around this. Yeah, I think I'm really, yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna do that. I might even like go across the corner like that or something. I don't wanna cover too much of the background, so we'll see how it goes. But so that's what I'll do and then sew it up and then that will be inserted in here. But it's super easy, these are super easy to make. You can make any kind of window pockets that you want. You can make this a confetti um, window shaker, like a, a shaker if you want. Um, you can do the same thing, um, make this a pocket and put confetti in there and it'll be like a, a card shaker in there. I was kind of debating whether to do that with, I had these little, um, these little fall pieces and actually <laughs> now that we're talking about that here here are some little baby leaves and here are some these are a little bit more 3d embellishments but they're tiny those might fit in there Ooh, we might have to test that out and try that i might have to open this up yeah i could still open it up and stick a few of those in that might look really cool Oh my gosh, I'm getting ideas as we're sitting here, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I gotta wrap my head around this. I need to let this sit for a little bit. I also need to get get to work, get working. Um, so yeah, that I'll decorate this, ink it up, sew it. I might make put some little shaker pieces in here to make this a shaker card as well. And then that'll go in here. So I'll show you what I end up with on our next video. But here is the just the general idea of how you make these. Here's a little pocket, your little flip window, little hinge, you can have a journal spot, you can make this a pocket if you want, you can make it a side pocket, you can do lots of things with this. You can put another tuck spot here. I'm gonna embellish this up a little bit as well as this side. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna do that at the end to try to figure out how thick the whole um, journal will be. So I need to kinda, I'm trying to keep it contained a little bit. I love adding as much as I possibly can in these, but I need to keep it contained a little so it's not exploding. So, well, there you go, there you have it. So I will show you what I end up with on the next video and then we'll see what we're gonna be working on next. Maybe some tags or still gotta do the cover and tags and embellishments and stuff. So it'll be fun. So I'll see you all later. Thanks for joining me. Happy crafting, bye y'all.